Okay, this is the new bubble plate still I built. It's in operation right now. We'll close up in a minute. As you can see, it's producing product. I use a worm going through ice. I kind of still like that method. The uh, part you're looking at right there is called a deflegimator, or however you pronounce it. That part I had to buy from Still Dragon. Couldn't make it myself. The rest of this I made myself. I got a few leaks in the bubble plates. It's a 15.5 gallon keg. Got that brand new from Kegco. You get them on eBay. And then to control the temperature, I used uh, CPU cooling stuff. Uh, two CPU cooling radiators, fan on each, and then a digital control head, which I have to put in manual mode to control the fan speeds. And then of course, uh, CPU cooling water pump and thing. And all that. I got the fans at about 2,000 RPMs right now. And everything's working perfectly. Got an elemental burner down there. Not enough propane. Let's see if you can see anything now. You can't really see anything in the windows. It's all steamed up. It comes out faster than the slow drip. It's like a steady little stream. Got about about 220 degrees on the bottom of the keg. About 190 at the reducer, and according to this, about 186 at the top of the column of the curve. That's all. Hope you enjoy. Okay, the first run on my new still is complete. Now what you're seeing is the product that I. Uh, got from it. First star on the left is called the heads. That's uh, the part you don't want to drink, the part you want to throw away. Uh, basically, some people say you want to throw away the first 10 milliliters per gallon of product you're doing. I did 10 gallons worth. I got about 500 milliliters there that I'm tossing out. You can see the color difference between that and the center two jars, which is the body, the main product. Far jar on the right is called the tails. You can see how that's cloudy. The tails can be mixed back in with your next batch when you distill that. Jar number three, you can see, just started to get a little cloudy. That's why I cut it there. And last jar is all tails. Uh, when it comes out, this is most usually called moonshine. If you dilute it down a bit to about you know 80 to 90 proof, and then put it in an oak barrel like you see on the left there, and age it for about four months in a barrel that size. And it'll turn, you know, light tannish, brownish, uh, and you will have whiskey. The only real difference is uh, it's aged in an oak barrel. And you get certain flavors and coloring from the oak barrel, and that gives you the whiskey. So that's uh, what I got out of a 10-gallon batch. Not too great. Uh, this still had a few problems. I had mm, four, five, six, six or seven different leaks on the thing. I'm not a very good welder. I'll have to work on that, weld up my leaks a bit, and hopefully it'll do better next time. But this is round one. That's what I ended up with. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.